Hi everybody, welcome to Cancerdini.com. My name is Vadik, this is Inta, and today we're going to show you everything you need to know to properly maintain your acoustic violin. Begin with the rear deck. When the instrument is new, use a dry cloth. Make rotating motions. Wipe all the curves on the side as well. When cleaning the front deck, make sure to clean under the fingerboard and the bridge to wipe off the rosin dust. Make sure to clean the fingerboard under the strings. If the instrument is old with visible traces of rosin, use cleaning solutions. Inta uses Bellacure. Don't apply the solution directly to the wood. Apply it to the cloth. This way it will not be concentrated in one spot. Don't clean the neck with the solution. Instead, just wipe it down with a dry cloth. When cleaning strings, Inta uses moist wipes. If the wipes are not available, just use a dry cloth and spirit. Wipe the strings like so. Be careful and don't let the spirit touch the wood. The bridge is an important part of the violin, which is located in the middle of the F hole at a 90 degree angle to the violin. If there's been an accident and the bridge has fallen out of its place, grip it tightly with both hands and put it back in place. Try not to touch the strings in the bow zone. Storage is very important for the acoustic violin. Inter's case has a built-in humidity meter, so the humidity is easy to control. Perfect humidity is about 45 to 55%. 60 to 40 is still okay. If a violin is in a dry room, put a container of water into the case. It will evaporate and raise the humidity a little bit. If the air is too humid, put some salt in the case to absorb the moisture. Please take a note, if you're using silver strings, you cannot use salt. If the pack box has shrunk, and the pegs are hot to pull out, put the peg box under the hot lamp for about two hours. The wood will expand and you will be able to pull the pegs out. If the pegs are loose and don't hold the tuning, use chalk, like this. It will tighten the grip. If the pegs are hard to turn, use most basic household soap. Apply it just like the chalk. Just make sure it's not scented. When changing the strings, don't take all the strings off at once, because the bridge might fall off and lose its perfect position. Change the strings one by one. Each string has a different thickness, shown on the packaging, as well as the letter that identifies the note of the string. Take the appropriate string and put one end of the string into the hole of the tuning peg and carefully wind it around the peg. Then insert the other end into the hole by the fine tuner Sometimes the fine tuners get stuck and are not easy to turn when fine tuning. When they do, unscrew them and apply lubricant. Inta uses cork grease. Make sure that the lubricant doesn't come into contact with the wood. When cleaning the bow, use a dry cloth. Make sure that you wipe the stick without touching the hair. At the side of the bow, there's a screw that regulates the tension of the hair. Make sure that the screw is not too tightly wound. After playing, loosen the screw. This way, the stick doesn't get bent if humidity changes. 
Tighten the screw again before playing. If you have a new bow, ply rosin very carefully, like this. If you have used the bow for a while and feel that you need to reapply the rosin because the tension is fading, apply it more lightly. When applying the rosin, don't push. It can cause large pieces of rosin to get stuck in the hair and cause unpleasant sounds. If you have applied too much rosin, unwind the screw and hit the bow lightly to shake the dust off. Just follow these simple steps and your instrument will serve you for years to come. This has been Concertini.com. Join us in our next videos. See you later. Bye.